Hi everyone. When do we apply difference of two squares? Difference of two squares deals with the subtraction of two square areas. That is, when one squared area is subtracted from another squared area. Mathematically, this is when two perfect squares are separated by a minus. Perfect squares are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, and it goes on to positive infinity. This is a chart of perfect squares from 1 to 30. When you take the square root of a perfect square, you should be expecting a natural number. Natural numbers are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it goes on to positive infinity. The general formula for difference of two squares is a squared minus b squared is equal a minus b in bracket, a plus b in bracket. For example, x squared minus 9 squared can be represented as difference of two squares in x squared minus 3 squared. And now we have x minus 3 in bracket, x plus 3 in bracket. And with the bracket, it doesn't matter which comes first. Subsequently, it's important to mention here that a squared plus b squared is not difference of two squares. A squared plus b squared got a different value and we are not going to consider that in this video. Let's evaluate this question. x squared minus 4. 4 can become 2 squared. This is now difference of two squares. In difference of two squares, one of the variable will have a square and the other variable will also have a square and both will be separated by a minus difference of two squares means that a perfect square is subtracting another perfect square you have a square of length x and width x and inside that square you have another perfect square of length 2 and width 2. This diagram can be represented mathematically as difference of two squares. Next, we are going to apply the difference of two squares. That is, a squared minus b squared is a minus b in bracket, a plus b in bracket. We are going to apply this rule to this question. And here, we're going to have that x minus 2 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket. If you expand this bracket, you are going to get back the question. That is, x minus 2 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket. x times x will give you x squared. x multiply by 2 will give you plus 2x. Next, minus 2 times x will give you minus 2x. Minus 2 times plus 2 will give you minus 4. Plus 2x will take away minus 2x. And you are left with x squared minus 4, which is x squared minus 2 squared. And for this question, this is our answer. For this difference of two squares, in this first one, x squared minus 25, it is something as saying x squared minus 5 squared. Remember, you must express it in difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, before you start solving. And your answer is x minus 5 in bracket, x plus 5 in bracket. In this second one, x squared minus 36, you will now have x squared. 36 is a perfect square, 25 is a perfect square, 49 is a perfect square, and 81 is a perfect square. Hence, we're going to have that x squared minus c squared 
Now, this is difference of two squares. So we now have x minus 6 in bracket, x plus 6 in bracket. For this third one, x squared minus 49 is the same thing as saying x squared minus 7 squared. And here we're going to have x minus 7 in bracket, x plus 7 in bracket. In this fourth one, we have x squared minus 81. 81 is a perfect square because 9 squared will give you 81. X squared minus 9 squared is the same thing as saying X minus 9 in bracket, X plus 9 in bracket. Let's evaluate and express this as difference of two squares. 5 here is not a perfect square. You might think that there is nothing we can do to this question. If I have that the square root of X, all squared is the same thing as x because the square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. With this rule, instead of the square root of this x, I can decide to have x to the power of 1 over 2. And here, there is a squared. And this is the same thing as saying x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2. Because this 1 over 2 is now multiplying these two. These two will take away these two and you end up having just only x. I'm going to apply this rule to 5 and I can rewrite this as x squared minus the square root of 5. I will put it in bracket then I will square this. This and this are the same thing. This is now in the form of a squared minus b squared. Hence, I can apply difference of two squares. Now, this have squared and this also have squared. So the next thing I will do is I will apply difference of two square by saying x minus the square root of 5 in bracket and x plus the square root of 5 in bracket. And this becomes our answer. Let's evaluate this expression. 4 can be expressed as 2 squared and 49 can be expressed as 7 squared. Next, 2 squared is multiplying x squared. We can write this as 2x in bracket squared minus 7 squared is multiplying y squared. We can put this in bracket 7 and y, put it together squared. Now, we have difference of two squares in the form of a squared minus b squared and with this we can have 2x minus 7y in bracket and 2x plus 7y in bracket and this is now our answer let's evaluate this question here we have a minus separating two variables and numbers. Looking at this question, 6 is common on both sides. Hence, I will bring 6 out. I will open a bracket. This is a minus. I need to multiply a variable to get m squared. It is m squared. 6 multiply m squared will give you 6m squared. Next, 6 will multiply a number to give you 150. And that number is 25. 6 multiplied 25 is 150. Next, we have 6 here. Inside here, we can express m squared minus 5 squared as difference of two squares inside the bracket. And now, we have 6 in bracket. We have m minus 5 in bracket and m plus 5 in bracket. And this is now our answer. Remember, inside this bracket, we can express this as a squared minus b squared, which is difference of two squares. Let's express this as difference of two squares. 8 squared will give you 64. So here we're going to have a squared, a squared minus 81 is the same thing as 9 squared. Next, on this side, 
we can have 8x all together squared. These two can square 8. And these two can square x. Minus 9 squared. Now, we have a squared minus b squared as difference of two squares. And we can have 8x minus 9 in bracket and 8x plus 9 in bracket. And this becomes our answer. Let's express this as difference of two squares. Here, what is common on both sides? 5 is common. And 5 will multiply a number to give you 45. And that is 9. And here I have a squared. Because 9 multiplied by 5 will give you 45. And x squared. Minus 5 will multiply a number to give you 1, 2, 5. And that number is 25. Next, inside this bracket, I have 5 outside. Here, I have 9. 9 is 3 squared. And I have x squared minus 25 is 5 squared. Next, inside the bracket, here, I have 3 squared and x squared. That means I can put these two in bracket, which is 3 and x, and square it. Next, I will have a minus. And here, I have 5 squared. This 5 is multiplying everything inside the bracket. These have squared. And this also is squared. Now, inside the bracket, I have a squared minus b squared, which is difference of two squares. Here, I will have 5 outside. And now, I can have 3x minus 5 in bracket and 3x plus 5 in bracket. And this becomes our answer.